to my channel. Thank you so much once again for tuning in. If it is your first time here, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do remember to subscribe down below. And if it is your usual time here, if you're part of the family, thank you so much for choosing me once again. My name is Zizilim Tagane. For those who do not know, on Instagram, I'm Z underscore Sublime. So do the right thing, follow me on all social media platforms. And yes, it's been a long time. The last time I vlogged, I think I was looking for a place, my emotions were everywhere, and I was just a mess. Um, I can safely say that I'm slightly recovering from that. I don't know when I'll be fully recovered, but anyway, today we are making a smoothie and we will be catching up. There's a lot of things that I feel I do need to share um, as maybe some sort of advice for uh, some of you guys. And uh, maybe it's just also to offload. You guys know I love the camera and I love talking, so how best to do it? through something refreshing the reason for this is that i'm literally starting my weight loss journey at the moment guys i i'm not liking how i look like i feel like i have become and <laughs> i'm not quite happy with that but cut a long story short i am going to try out a detox smoothie now i do not want to lie I saw this on instagram i don't have all the full ingredients for example okay I'm supposed to have a mango here, but I don't have a mango and I don't know how I missed that. I'm just going to like, you know, uh, what do I call it? Substitutes with little other things. Okay, right. So we have bananas and then we have an apple here. We have uh, carrots and we have lemon. I've already sliced it because I had it with my water earlier. And we have cucumber, which I've also sliced because I mean open because I've already used. And we have a new today yogurt okay um and then we have um this is low fat okay low low fats remember that <laughs> and then we have jungle oats i'm using jungle oats in the absence of uh coconut flakes also because i want to you know still feel fulfilled up you know in terms of feeling full and whatnot so that's exactly why i chose jungle oats instead of the cocoa flakes so yeah guys let's get into the smoothie making process <laughs> smoothie in this bottle so basically this is like a smoothie bottle uh type thing i got this from clicks uh, a while ago i don't have the box obviously but it's one of those things where uh you you just uh, place the lid on the cap and then you place it on the smoothie connect your 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 smoothie maker onto the plant and allow it to do its magic so basically that's what I will be using in the absence of a professional, I don't know if it's a professional or a proper, yeah, let's call it a proper smoothie maker. We're not there yet, dear child, like, we're not there yet. Once we do get there, you guys will be the first to know. But anyway, this one is cheaper than the one you probably know. I think I got it for like $2.99. Um, I think it was two years back. <laughs> but it, it hasn't, it hasn't changed in pricing. So, yeah, I'll just connect this
part where we talk and we just, you know, converse. I've been trying for the past 30 minutes to find a perfect lighting spot, you know, but yeah, this this was good enough for for me right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, also, I think another thing, I think I've just been overthinking this vlog, but I realized that let me just let me just keep it real like i always keep it real you know look i really haven't been in the best of spaces and uh, i'm choosing to talk about this because it's something that i feel a lot of people possibly a lot of people deal with you know i'm 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 generally not a person who who um who who talks a lot in the sense of going back and forth with people and all of that right so as you guys know obviously i had uh, i was affected by the kids and floods and um i've been staying with a friend who i'm eternally grateful for opening her doors with her husband for me um you know um and during that time a lot was happening to me emotionally and uh, mentally which i hide very well i hide very very well and i think even now you guys probably can tell that I'm probably not 100% myself, but trust me, it's, it's, it's been a whole lot of work. And one thing about me, when I'm stressed, when I'm frustrated, my body starts failing me. So I am extremely fatigued. I am extremely uh, depleted in, in all in all aspects. If you if you if you know of chakras, every chakra of mine is literally blocked at this point. I need to find my 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 musa i need to recenter myself regroup myself which is what i've actually done and i've literally gone as far as even on on on, on whatsapp i've told my 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 friends contacts and whatever that angiko and dizzy angiko available because i just I, I need i need to attend to me i need to attend to this girl but i think it's just been a lot going on Obviously, uh, Mundo is growing up and it's not the easiest of, of, of things because every day is a new challenge. Every day is a learning curve. Um, but I will be honest with you guys. Um, I've learned a lot during this time. I've learned a lot in the sense that what had transpired with me and my landlord, the way I used to stay, which is something that I, I said I probably wasn't going to talk about. But you know what? I think it may be something I need to I need to say um, because maybe someone will be going through it. And you know how we always say, hey, you know, uh, you know, some people, they like, they always make noise when it's time for you to give back um, your money type of thing. For me, it wasn't even like a bad part of thing. For me, it was more of um, the, 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 the exchange of words that happened during that process. Obviously, the situation is unforeseen and I was legally binded by a contract or a lease or whatever it is that you want to call it, right? And I, 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 I highly get that. However, I was re I reached out to her in the sense that I expected that I'd be speaking to a person on a wound or who can, you know, see things in that way. Uh, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, there were a lot of words that were hurtful that were said to a point where I was told that I'm being selfish. Um, simply because I chose to look out for myself in the sense of asking if there could be a possibility that I get my deposit back so that I secure myself a place for the time being. Now, this is the thing with contracts, you guys. I think when we read them, um, we read from a point where we think that the other person still has Ubuntu, that the other person is like you, better yet, or thinks like you. And that's where the hook is. I see the legal terms, I see everything, the clause and all of that, but I realized that when I signed that lease, and I think it's what happens to most people, we think that that's how everybody thinks, that everybody thinks like how we think. And that's not the case. So, excuse me, it was it was like 
It could have been a tit for tat had I wanted to entertain it, but I'm not that kind of person. I don't entertain those kind of things. So I did not. And I think that's where my, you know, frustration came from because you know when you keep quiet about a lot of things and mind you we've never had a challenge before okay we've never had a challenge before we've never had an altercation uh, or anything of that sort um, like I, I really had a good time staying there as short as it was um, the place was very nice as you guys can see from my vlogs previously um, but I needed to find a place to stay because I wasn't safe and I couldn't stay at a friend's place for that long you understand and uh, yeah so it it was one of those things that i felt like i know you're also going through what you're going through i'm also going through what i'm going through i had questions asked as are you seriously telling me that there's no one who can take care of you that there's no one who can take you in and you know it it it, it was the the audacity of talking about my life as if you know it. You know, like the 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 individual that I'm talking about didn't know what I was going through, doesn't know anything about my life. You know, if it was a matter that we or she could not give me back that deposit, that would have been okay for her to just say, you know what, Z, it's a very tough time for me and at the moment I can't. That's all. That's all. Oh, see, hey, hey, my life, hey, hey, ooh, ooh, ha, ha. Hey. Don't, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Do not go there. You know, some of us are very bubbly on camera and Jane naturally, but it's not like we always have a crowd of people around us. But it's like that for a reason. So never, ever, ever assume that you know a person's life just by what you see or what you you think you see or what you think you know you know so for me it was that and i can go deeper and deeper and deeper about it but the point that i wanted to really really go into was that um i've learned and i've grown from that uh challenge that it's it's even taught me a lot as far as dealing with legal things or whatever the case may be, that do like never, never fall into the trap of thinking that people think like you whenever you go into any partnership, be it business, be it uh, 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 moving flats, be it buying a car or whatever purchase or whatever, anything that is legally binding you to anyone or anything, never, ever make the assumption that people will think like you. Or especially when you're dealing with friends. Especially when you're dealing with friends. There are situations where I'm a makeup artist, right? I do that on the side. I spend to buy my products. Just because you're my friend doesn't mean that I'm going to be doing you just just for free. At least have that in mind, Wooty. This is something that she does to pay her bills. See a coca. <laughs> Everything you see, see a coca. <laughs> you know? Um, unless if it's coming from me, then that's fine. That's a different story altogether. But business is business. People don't think like you. You know? Uh, like, w w whatever situation you will find yourself, people never think like you when it when it comes down to the crux of the matter everybody wants to look out for themselves and it becomes so selfishly so because you we don't know the extent that they will go to show you that they actually are you know taking care or looking out for themselves it took it took my situation for me to actually you know get my eyes opened again or get confronted with the reality of what life really is you know sometimes i i i, I think i think sometimes i live in my own world because i i i i, I just my peace my space eh, I, i'm not arguing with anyone i'm not causing drama eh, eh, eh. but people will keep on trying you people even if you try and avoid it 
you know it, it, it's 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 just how life is and with that case I, I i i i i learned a lot because this was me now going on and on and on trying to inquire uh about legal things hey guys <laughs> love for your mind keeps on telling you no this is your money this is your money girl get your money you know but you're just a part, then a huge part of me is like no let me leave it let me leave it because Hey guys, at the end of the day, um, tets, um, tets, um, you know, at the end of the day, the law is the law. And uh, however, I learned to speak up for myself. I learned to never back down. I learned to also uh, show people that I can also think, that I can also do what you do, you know. The thing is with 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 a person who who's always looking out for peace, um, is the fact that when it's time for you to really talk or stand up for yourself, I, I think I choose not to do it because I avoid the discomfort, I avoid the drama that will come with it. You know, I avoid um, how I can will possibly feel after it. But little did I know that after speaking up for myself, I actually feel better because at least now you know that you know what I mean I also have a mind uh, people can bully you you guys people can talk anyhow to you um, but I think some of us we just constantly take it and take it and keep taking it and keep taking it to a point where it reaches you know it's it's some sort of threshold and it, it, it's just shots fired and those people then become dangerous so not just only with that fact but it's 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 it, it, i'm looking at my life holistically that whenever you choose to keep the peace with people whenever you choose to do right and be the bigger person there's always the side of you there has to be a side of you that cuts it you know like cuts it it's not always you cutting people out of your life but it's you cutting the bs and cutting the part of you don't speak to me like that you don't you don't do that to me we need i need you might also need to learn how to put people in their place and I'm only sharing this because I man ukulele during this whole process. And here I am today after tears, after uh, body pains, body aches, and I am living in this beautiful place and I'm so thankful to God. Um, and I'm at peace. I am I, I am at peace. I am at peace because again looking at it. It's different when you're fighting back with an intent of hurting or with an intent of, I'll show them. That kind of attitude will never leave you at peace because it's, a, it's an energy that is not positive, number one. It's an energy for to that will bear fruits that are going to be reckless, hurtful, and disastrous for everyone. And you will always be sleeping with that conscience in your head. And there's nothing I fear more than conscious, conscience, sorry. My conscience needs to be clear. So that when I lay my, my head on the pillow at night, I know that I did the right thing. I know that I am at peace with everything that I've done. I will never do something if I don't want to do it. I will never speak to someone the way I don't want to be spoken to. So when those kind of things happen, it, it really throws me off. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's been a whole lot of frustration, but here we are today. God is good. God is faithful. So I hope you guys can take whatever you can take from what I've said. If it's not a legal perspective, then apply it on your personal life and how you deal with people. If not child, do what you do, like apply it where you should. And if you are the person who's always the, on the other side of the people who are constantly trying to keep the peace, I hope this gives you a different mindset on how to deal with people because karma is a B. We all get it.
it's bound to get us. Even if you don't believe in karma, there's actions, I mean, there's consequences for every action. That's just the principle of life. I believe we will see that that is part of umhlaba. It's a principle. I, I, I don't want to translate it. They say it's Zula So if you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this was pleasant for you to hear. And I hope that you really take it in. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's get the family growing. Thank you to my new subscribers. Till next time. I hope you guys enjoy your smoothie.